The meeting was organized in part to observe ASEAN Dengue Day on June 15. The National Regulatory Authority last week organized a local press tour to Salavadan Province, which has heavily bombed during the Indochina War from 1964 to 1973. According to the director of the National Regulatory Authority, Pu Kyo Jantasumbun, Laos will begin to collect the bigger UXO as evidence for explaining to future generation who dropped those bombs in their country and why. An explosion site used by UXO Lao in Dongbang Panay village in Laungam district was one place the journalists visited. According to the National Regulatory Authority, Laos will begin to collect the bigger unexploded ordnance discovered through clearance operations to keep evidence for explaining to future generations who dropped these bombs on their country and why. Current practice is to explode the bombs when they are discovered in order to clear the land for agriculture, but in future the NRA will work with the Lao UXO program or UXO Lao to collect them. Dongbang Panay village in Laung Ngam has 69 large bombs waiting to be destroyed, but these will not now be exploded. <laughs> Only diffuse to render them harmless, and then they can be collected and taken away. The site has 2,000 pound bombs, 9 750 pounders, 50 500 pounders, and some 200 and 100 pound items. According to director of the NRA, Pukia Jantasumbun, if we donate them all, we will not have any evidence to show our children that the bombs in Laos were dropped by America. In Salavan, most of the bombs dropped by American airplanes were the bigger explosive devices, from 100 to 3,000 pounds, but the 500 pounders were the ones most frequently found during clearance operations. Saravan has an area of over 1 million hectares, but of these 600,000 hectares were contaminated with UXO items. Some 50 people were killed and 96 injured between 1997 and 2013, but from 1973 to 1996, it was reported that 1,010 people suffered from UXO accidents and only half of them survived. <laughs>